This is a dynamic climbing rope. One can take hundreds of these massive falls and it will still provide a soft landing for the climber. Now, if you would pull out the core strands, take one of them and untwist it, and then dig even deeper and try to separate the smallest part of the rope. Eventually, you would get to a single filament, which is about 10 times thinner than the human hair, and it's kind of hard to see. And during the fall, these filaments stretch, but also they slide past each other, which creates friction. And this friction helps to dampen the impact. However, if we would make a rope wet, water on the surface of the filaments would act as a lubricant. This would allow the filaments to slide easier past each other, reducing the dampening effect and potentially causing harder catches for the climber. Now, if you want to see what happened when we put this theory to the test or learn more about rope science, check out my latest video on YouTube.